first and foremost, this is where the entire tech community is. And it's important for even a law firm to understand uh, the other big players and organizations that are a part of the Kansas City community. It's a great opportunity for the firm, a firm like ours, to uh, give back to the city and to help promote its uh, economic development and really support the entrepreneurial e ecosystem that has developed here in Kansas City. It's easy for startups to kind of lose sight of the long picture initially. They're very excited about their product that they're developing and a lot of times the energy is spent on development and not so much about the long-term strategy. And so by coming to a firm like ours, uh, we can help guide them along that path, particularly to protect their intellectual property, to shield their personal assets, um, and, and put them in the best position for investments on down the road. Women are starting businesses at, at twice the rate of men. However, a lot of times with women have smaller businesses, uh, and I think sometimes it's difficult for women because they haven't built the network, you know, and it's really, it's not about networking per se, it's about building the network of folks that are, can fund deals or that can connect them with the right folks. The money is there and money chases good deals. In order to uh, raise angel funding, uh, you need term sheets, operating agreements. A lot of times you might have a patentable uh, intellectual property piece. You need to have a good attorney early on because then you're going to need them at a later time too because as you exit or prepare for exiting the company, you're going to need to have all of that uh, figured out too. There are so many pitfalls that you can run into um, that you just aren't aware of. You know, we've had so many situations where you have a uh, you have a, an early early investor, and you don't think about how you're going to document that relationship, and it becomes a gigantic problem when you go down the road and try to get funding at a later date from an institutional source. When I think about legal, I think about the beginning steps of setting up your your corporation or whatever entity you want to set up, setting that up correctly, having somebody that can keep track of that, but also setting up employment agreements, shareholder agreements, things that maybe seem like not such a big deal when you're getting started, but get a little ways down the road and you understand the value of those types of agreements and having them set up right. And people like, you know, your attorneys and legal advisors can be a part of your team for a long, long time and it's really important to get the right people. Go find a resource that can talk about some of the basic things you should be thinking about, about setting up your equity structure, getting investment, protecting your intellectual property. Those things are just, again, so easy to do on the front end and save you so much on the back end.